Strategy, focus, precision. All things I use to get a sniff of the Cougar's Pleasure Palace. But apparently, these words also sum up the technique of the mighty lawn bowlers. Who knew? <laughs> and who knew they were mighty? Not me, because I've just read it from the auto cue. I'm Fergus Butler, reporting for Tartan Tonight here in the West End of Glasgow, a place I have a particular penchant for. It was here, amongst the overpriced coffee shops, purple-headed students, and the toddlers getting dragged along to hot yoga, that I tried my first munchie box. It wasn't quite what I thought. But at least there was a nan in it. <laughs> Always a bonus. Over nine days, there are ten golds up for grabs here in one breathtaking backdrop. Speaking of breathtaking backdrops, I once 69'd a yoga teacher against the rough cast wall of a gable end in Loch Winnich. Never once did I see her face. But when she held me by the ankles and the blood rushed to my head, I knew it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I digress. But the ladies love it, and the gentlemen. The owner of the gable wall in Loch Winnick, uh, not so much. The setting may look tranquil, but don't be fooled. In lawn bowls, the stakes are high, bowlers are bold, and they bowl with a bold and brutal bloody-mindedness that both blows, bowls, and is a beauty to behold. <laughs> I am absolutely wasted in this job. But back to this old person's game. What are the rules? Well, in a word, there's hardly any. Throw the bowl on the lawn. That'll be why they call it lawn bowls. I call it a souped-up version of Pitchy. With a raft of young athletes joining the sport throughout the Commonwealth, there may be some surprising results. As far as I'm concerned, the only surprising result will be if people actually turn up to watch. I've been Fergus Butler, and you've been wondering what's going on under this nifty wee polo shirt. <laughs>